pushed out Never gave you a chance And they told you to fight But tied your hands I do have a younger sister in school right now and she's my personal reason as to why I'm working with DRUM, the organization, as well as on this campaign, Dignity for Better Schools. I was pushed out, never given a chance, and my mind's getting weary because I'm under a trance. School's no longer... My name is Kabir Ahmed. I'm from New York City, Queens. I'm a youth organizer from the organization called DRUM, This is Rising Up and Moving. And we organize youth immigrants and students and uh, workers immigrants. Um, we fight for global justice youth education rights as well as workers rights for low income wages. Got pushed out the door and I would never be found. With broken opportunity was set up to fail. My illegal circumstances I've got I've seen such so many cases where the push out uh, uh, issue has affected some of my fellow students that are even in high school right now or my friends and their uh, siblings. Uh, one of the ways is just for the fact that they have over uh, policing in their schools and because of there's so many Police officers there, they just feel threatened that they see their school as a prison, so they don't want to go there whatsoever. Or even if they are inside school and they somehow get harassed, or other issues that come up by police officers and they get pushed out of their school and not wanting to come back. Uh, so we, uh, we target students that have been affected by the push out or have been affected by the zero tolerance, um, cases where they've been abused by over policing or uh, harassed by any agents, uh, anything else that they might feel that it's the school's fault whereas they don't feel like coming to school and not getting their education that they need or being pushed out. What do you call a student that has been set up to fail? What do they do to get placed on this fast track to jail? You call him another statistic trapped in this game of cannibalistic gunshots that scream out when he breathes by your window. As you learn I think to dive, dignity though, itself is just, uh, in, in little short words, just pride and respect that everyone has. Uh, in terms of students, it's something that a uh, student has their right and their pride to be educated and to be smart in their school and any obstacle, any person that um, threatens that right of theirs uh, totally violates their dignity. Just, just to violate someone's dignity, a student in particular, that's definitely crossing the line whether it's just a student or because that student is still a person, so you're still violating his dignity. The student is still human, they still have their rights. Um, whether a security uh, rough handles them or just embarrasses them by handcuffing them in front of her fellow or his fellow students is definitely um, violating their human rights. I think these changes come from uh, the power of the people. That's always uh, what we uh, you know, root for and stuff. That's the word that we give out, that it is us that put these politicians and these policy makers in their position. We work, uh, they do not work for, uh, they work for us, we do not work for them. So uh, it all starts with just the students themselves, just the people themselves. We should fight up for whatever we write, uh, stand up for. And it's always a good feeling just to know that I have so many allies and organizations throughout the nation that are working on the same campaign as us. I hope we, can, we succeed in all our campaigns because we will do it with, when we have our people's voices heard.